Welcome, my name is Jack, and this is Enforcer Police Crime Action, a new police game that's been released. It's still being developed as this patch is coming out. I think it is the full release, but it's still being developed with uh, new additions and content. And what this game has you do, it's just a standard cop. You're not like a Special Forces SWAT or some detective and stuff. While they, those games are cool, this is probably the most I guess, realistic simulation for a standard cop. Uh, and it's quite interesting. I, uh, we're playing a campaign at the moment. I've been playing with a character called Jack after myself in the normal game mode, which means you can respawn and it's one mission at a time. I've started playing another character, Sarah, who's a female, we'll jump into that, who's a realistic game, in the realistic game mode where you, once you've died, you've, you just, you've died, you've lost that character. And you'll notice there's lots of weird transitions because I find the game is a bit buggy. Um, and also, I've unlocked the special cheat, which they've released, uh, for the Christmas, because it's the holiday season, uh, we've got a Christmas tree in our house. Uh, also, we're always going to be wearing the Santa hat. So, <laughs> it's going to be a pretty cool cop. Uh, and in this complex or the realistic game mode, your health is up there in the top left. Now, I'll explain some of the concepts and we'll go out and do some stuff. 100% uh, health. But if I get shot, and I've got shot in a couple of times, instantly 40 health. And thankfully, I've been able to subdue the person before they've got off another shot. Because uh, that would have just killed me out. So, we might even die in this episode. Hopefully not. But... It's a lot more tense that way. And also you can do up to three missions at a time. We don't get to choose. They just get given to you. So we've got ranks. And if I push F3, we can see the ranks here. I've gone from police officer to corporal. In the bottom left, you'll see there's a score, 870. If you get over a 1,000 points, you go up to corporal. And you get points from doing things correctly. And you lose points for doing things incorrectly. So I've been like giving out tickets and checking cars and subduing criminals and stuff. And I've been getting points for that. But I'm still learning what the rules of the place is because there's no tutorial system. And I find that quite frustrating. When it says, uh, find cars that are legally parked, I had to figure out that firstly, it didn't tell me where, it was just anywhere. And then I realized I actually have to manually look for the signs that said no parking. And then I gave them tickets and I got points. But then I read a guide just before and if I towed them, I would have got extra points as well. So that kind of makes sense. But when I find a drunk driver in a car, do I arrest them but if I find a car which has got illegal plates and all that kind of stuff is that just a fine or is that an arrest as well so all that kind of stuff you have to take into account now if you've played this game before you're probably wondering why am I in the second rank with less than a thousand points well there is time that you get given to go on duty in the bottom left there uh, there's time left of that yellow bar uh, that's your relaxation time so you have to look after yourself as well and in the top there you've got health energy and oh it's like a your, your nerves are essentially how tense you are. If you lose it all, or it gets quite low, then you have trouble aiming and you get more fatigued and stuff like that. You'll lose maximum health. And so you get uh, that time at the bottom there, the time left. That's why time left to get onto the job. And I didn't realize that. I thought that was a time left I had to do a break and then I had to go on. But no, I had to do it before that ran out. And I lost 500 points for being late. So I was like, oh, all right. So the time currently is seven o'clock in the morning down the bottom right there. It's dawn and a new day. And we're going to get into our uniform. And so we're in the house and we can look after ourselves. You'll notice that it's quite a weird movement system and I can start running and I look so lanky. Uh, there's also crouching, which is also my arms look like spaghetti and you can clip through. There's a whole lot of things like that that just, it feels like a, a low budget terms of the, the, the game and the quality of the animation and stuff like that. But what it has in other areas, it does really, really well. It gives an experience which no other game offers. And loads of people on the Steam forums and Steam reviews have been really enjoying this game. Uh, I just find it a bit frustrating at points, and we'll probably see it, is that when I'm wanting to pull cars over, it's hard to tell when I need to pull a car over because it's speeding or if it's bugged out and it's just the collision or the pathfinding of the cars is wrong and they're just smashing into each other for no reason. So let's jump onto Judy. So we've got our cop uniform on, but we've still got the Santa hat because it is awesome. Uh, we've got an array of tools uh, on our side and we can tell people to pull over. We're, we also have got money in the top left there. I'm going to just jump out of there, out of our house. Uh, we get paid at the end of the day, but uh, healing and buying food all costs money. And one thing I found really annoying, and we'll find it later, is to do with cars. But we'll come to that. We've got our cop car. So we've been given a mission down the bottom left there, and I'll bring it up in large so you can probably see it easier. Make a roadblock on the street and check for cops. Uh, check for vehicles with problems uh, and so that will be quite easy so we're going to map uh, and there's quite a large area but it's divided into zones into those colors there's a loading screen between them and it, it's not very intuitive and cars seem to have a pop in rat rate like they they pop out of existence very quickly so we turn the car on and we can drive and 
the car's acceleration and movement I find a bit weird. As soon as I touch this road, you get so much traction and we get up to like maximum speed. But trying to slow down, it's quite hard. Uh, but what I found, what's even weirder, is going in reverse, it's really hard just to do like a sharp corner, so you've got to really be paying attention. I probably should be obeying road rules like, that car just went through a red light. I wonder if that means I can, oh, can't pull it over now. Oh, siren. If I turn the car off, I'll hop out. I can Please get out of the car. So, oh, I just told him to come out of the car. All right. Can I uh, use the breathalyzer on you? Nothing. It's all good. I don't even mean that get you out. I don't know why you've come out. Can I check the car? Check plates. The vehicle was spinning. Cool. It did look like it was going quite fast. So I'm going to apply a ticket and we get some more points for that. And then I'm going to say you are free to go. And hopefully that person will jump back in the car and drive away. Perfect. So it says I need to make a roadblock, but roadblocks are quite intense. That car just went flying past. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up to these cars. I need to tell them to stop, even though they are stopped, which is kind of weird, before I can get this option here to check plates. Now, am I just checking plates for stuff? Found a problem with the vehicle. What, what was the problem? I wasn't paying attention. And use the breathalyzer. Let's apply a vehicle ticket. Just apply correctly and you're free to go. Neat. Next in line. MVPD, stop, stop the vehicle. So hopefully after a while we'll get a more interesting mission to do. But I think this is quite cool that you got the option. This car is very slow moving. There's no problems. Uh, free to go. I don't want to apply a ticket. I should I bring up that menu screen? Three. Check. Yeah, vehicles with problems. So I don't have to be checking the breathalyzer. But it's probably a good idea to do that. Even if I don't have a mission, I can be doing this anyway. Like checking people ticketing cars. Uh, I don't essentially have to have a mission for it, which I didn't realize. I uh, just, when I was wandering around waiting for a mission, I was like, hold on, I probably could just do stuff. And I was getting points for it. I'm like, that just makes so much more sense. Cops always don't have things to do. Uh, and sometimes they just need to be, you know, checking out stuff. Man, there's a large queue of cars, which is great. Because often it's hard to find these cars. No problem with this vehicle as well. Mission complete, perfect, 200 points. High blood alcohol. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask them to get out. Please get out of the car. And they're going to get out quite <laughs> explosively. I'm going to ask this for compliance. The and I'm going to arrest them. And then what I can do once I've arrested them, because they were just following me, like stick really close. It's kind of annoying. I can't tell them to stop. So I could get them in the car or walk them all the way to the cop station, which is like four blocks that way. I can push three and then one. We ask for a cop car. And a cop just comes over and instantly picks up and we get points out. It's just so much easier doing it that way, I found. I, I don't think I'd ever want to take someone. And you probably noticed over there that person was clipping into another car. Oh, and now this truck's here. We need to get a tow truck in. There's no reason why this should be here. And now all the cars are driving past. I can hear them. The game's still going and I can't do it. All right. MVPD. Pull the car over. And because it, I hadn't stopped at first, it's going to pull over right there. And now this car's going to start being a bit weird. Let's go for the taxi. The big truck can go away. Found a problem. Man, everyone's got issues. We're getting loads and loads of points, which is good. Ticket applied correctly, and hopefully in a moment we'll get a, a mission, like a theft, or something like that, like a break-in. And what I think I need to do, if there's a break-in in a building, I need to ask for a warrant first. I broke down the door last time, I didn't get penalized for it, but I think I would have gotten points if I had checked, or I had gotten a warrant first before I'd broken down the door. Right, you've got blood out. What's with all these big truck drivers? Get out of the car. Please, get out of the car. You, uh, compliance, this is the police. and arrest. Bring the cop person in. Two, six, reporting. Cool. One was criminal, 50 points. Now, I'm actually wondering if there's a couple of cars around here that are illegally parked, because what I could do, is this a no parking area? No, well, that seems fine. Because I could, I could tow them all at once. Oh, two, six, Th these reporting. cars here just clipping in, it seems a bit retarded. All right, they're going up. I should let them kind of flow out. But I could be looking for suspicious behavior if I could see something happening. And I don't really know what to look for. I haven't played for too much. I've played for around an hour on my other character. And on this one here, I've played for 33 minutes. It says I've fired 97 shots. Now I'm going to say about 95 of those were me just testing out all the weapons in the middle of nowhere. And then the other two shots have been in situations where I've actually need to subdue someone. And both those times I got shot during that. It's taken me down the 40 health. Thankfully, I've subdued them either with a taser. But they've got guns. I... I'm all, I've looked it up. I'm actually allowed to use a gun back on them. Oh, gosh. What's all these people with blood alcohol levels? We'll check the plates as well. Jeebus, you've got issues. All right. Apply a ticket. Ask them to get out. 
<laughs> I love doing it with the Santa hat. Please get out of the car. This isn't your lucky day, lady. Let me see your hands. They always seem so surprised when I do that. Car stops so suddenly as well. Now, one of the things I'll talk about now, because we've got a bit of time as we're waiting for another mission to come in, is vehicles. You're allowed to drive your cop car during time you're on duty. Now, when you're off duty and you say, I want to go visit, say, your uh, your parents' house to kind of reduce reduce those stress levels, um, relax a bit, or friend, it will end you up at, when it finishes, it's just kind of like a picture saying, you did it, yay. Uh, it will say that you're now at your parents' house, and I'll show you a picture of them, you being there. But it gives you your cop car. It like moves it there, but you can't use your cop car to drive anywhere. You can't get into it. So you have to call a cab. It's weird that that system's in place. Come on, man. But thankfully, eventually you can buy your own car. But the cheapest car I found was $9,000. And you need to start the game with $2,000. No, $3,000, I think. It's actually not that much money. So let's just sit here in our car. We can bring up our computer. The, the sadly isn't there much of like initiating missions on your own part. You really need to be looking out for them. Oh. Search and arrest. I have never done this before. Okay. The round here. We've got 20 minutes to do it and it's in this ring. What if it's that person there? I, I have no idea. Oh, oh, it's not in the rain. Someone with drugs in this area. Well, what I can do is I can ask for suspicious activity, copy through your umbrella, nothing. Oh! You've got a gun! You gotta. He's on the run. Drop it now. Drop it now. I was gonna say he's not dropping his gun. Usually they comply a lot quicker. Jeebus, call an ambulance. Central, we need an ambulance. I probably killed the guy. He rescued him. Mission complete. Oh, I need to pick up the evidence before that. Oh, no, I can pick it up now. Points. Yeah, yeah. Right, I can put that gun away. I gotta reload. I wonder if that wastes the whole clip. Goodness me. Well, that was intense. The guy just, I got close to him and he was like, I, I have none of your business. Oh, I can jump. I didn't even realize I could do that. Man, that's a very enthusiastic jump. This is no parking zone. I probably should move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go past the cop station, which is just around the block. Or other side of town. Oh, better pop in there. Oh, come on. Weird driving physics. We can do it. Uh, I just need to go down to the cop station so I can pick up... I'll oh, do a bit of a drift around here. Oh, that was close. Uh, and pick up some new ammunition. And some more clips. Oh, come on. Brake, brake, brake. So long. Where'd that car disappear to? Your car's got fuel and health. And you can customize the car. We should actually go have a look at that. See if we can make our car look a bit better. So you can be on duty as long as you want. Just going to make sure you don't get tired. And you can't buy your own cars here, but $9,000 up to twenty grand, And you're only getting like $400 a day. It seems like you're in for the long haul. But then again, if you look at all those ranks, there's a load of different missions. I have a new mission. Uh, drunk drivers. Six people. That's all right. It's not too many. Uh, thankfully, it says there is 200 different variants of missions to do. And I've only seen like three. And I'm going to presume as you go up those levels, um, there'll be a really big variety of what you can do. Now, if I bring up the map, Gosh, I hate how I can still drive. Around here, at that yellow symbol. We're just going to break all the rules. Thankfully, I don't get penalized for breaking speed or traffic rules. Just going to drift a little bit around there. I want to even customize that car and then find some drunk drivers as well. Oh, parking horrifically on the side of the road and no parking area. Is this the place to customize? I have to be a senior trooper, rank three. I'm currently not cool enough for that. Right, we need some cars. You there? Oh, look, there's loads up there. MVPD, stop, stop the vehicle. vehicle. Oh, you're jumping out as well. Found nothing. But let's see if we can get some points anyway. Bye. Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? 
Just going on your phone? Your car's here. Kind of weird. Expired license. Maybe he's running because he has an expired license. Alright, it's kind of weird. Uh, let's, let's go to these people. Maybe I can actually just do it without having to tell them to stop the vehicle. Okay, something's up. There must be something happening nearby which is triggering all these people to run away. Maybe it's just all their horrible vehicles that they, they've got. No, I need to definitely tell them to comply. Use a breathalyzer on them. Found nothing that is clean. How about we check plates? Vehicle while speeding. Well, I found you, buddy. Buy the ticket. Tell them they're free to go and then tow the other ones. Getting a bit tired and hunger's not too bad. Let's tow those two cars down the road so we can shoot at three times two. Yep, and then he can move off because the cars instantly disappear. Jeebus. You. MVPD, stop I don't know if you're speeding, but you definitely look like you're going fast. Ah. This is the police. You have been arrested. Get another cop car in to take that guy out. I wish I could look up somewhere what levels it is to get points in terms of uh, ranking up. Because I, I don't know how to... How many points I need for the next level? And I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess you should just be going towards it. But I kind of think it'd be nice to have like an experience bar or something, MVP, something like that. Don't. MVPD, Oi. Run into me. And I can't tell if that's the pathfinding or part of the game. Found a problem. It's nearly the end of our shift. So let's apply a ticket. And tell them they're free to go, and then get this blue car to our left. I love our blood. New rank, senior trooper. Cool, so we're level three now. And we need to also arrest this person. Ask to get out of the vehicle. Get out of the car. This is the police. Compliance, arrest, call a police van, and call a tow truck. And now I want to do about customizing our car, but also we need to go end our shift. truck yeah and you just have to go to the police station to finish thankfully there's a config file and there is a steam guide which i saw which allows you to edit that and you can customize how much time you can spend on duty or off duty but also there are downsides to that like you'd get a lot you get really tired over your shift so i can customize my car oh neat light bars I like that bar. Visual style. Oh, bro. We could go for the green. Night bar color. Oh, we can choose the colors. I feel like you gotta go red and blue. Can you go? You can go red and red. Alright, red and blue, I think. Oh, vehicle model. Oh, bro. We're so going with that beast. And I guess he's a lot to later levels. But I think there's like... Uh, you can get a motorcycle now in the latest update. And you can probably get bigger trucks and stuff. Bro, look at our beast now. Okay, we're going to drive to the, the cop station. I guess we'll see a bit of the time of the, the out-of-office time. Actually, I should turn my lights on. Oh, look, so you instantly... That's how much time it took me to break. I, I just tapped it, and then I instantly had to break from all of that. Oh, gosh, this new car's faster. 140. Yeah, the acceleration and deceleration I find really odd. Like decelerating, decelerating, like a lot for the first part and then it instantly feels like it stops. Anyway, let's get off duty. We will then do a couple of quick things to replenish ourselves and then we'll try and do another duty mission. Uh, just because I like doing these missions and showing you guys um, the stuff it offers. I really would like to do a, a burger or something like that. Well, I, don't, I don't want to do that. We just got ammo, didn't we? So let's end the shift and we'll get a screen telling us uh, what we did. Why? Is this some medals? Did we just get some medals? I, I don't understand what these are. Uh, lots of vehicles checked and whatnot. Confirm. Oh, we received $600. Okay, cool. I'm wondering if that went up because of our rank or because of how much we did. 
Thankfully, it, only, it just seems to be going up over time. All right, so off duty, we can't use our cop car. Oh, I've left the lights on. All right, car's broken, essentially. But we've got our phone here, and we can go contacts, and we can say, uh, let's not contact services, uh, call a cab, and instantly go home, $20. So there's a whole lot of uh, places you can go there. But there's a lot of loading screens, and that's kind of a bit frustrating. Especially because it kind of pops in and then reloads and sometimes are a bit odd. But I'm running off an SSD and so it seems to be all right. Some of them do seem to be a bit longer. Like I can see my character in the background of that loading screen then. So what we need to do is we need to grab some food. $5 for that. I've actually, I've actually got more money than I started with. Brilliant. And we need sleep. So let's get some sleep. We'll just go for the full 10 hours so we can get into daytime again. It's now 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we need to start our shift pretty promptly. We, we should probably do something to reduce our stress levels, but I'm just going to leave it like it is for the moment. Um, oh, we could probably just have like a, a shower or something. And then we get this view that's just just <laughs> shower behind the wall. Not that exciting. It feels like some artwork there. So five on the stress level. How much did that go up though? I think a little bit. And I think we have a TV as... Oh, I don't have a TV. So I'm wondering if we go to online store, I don't want to retire... This is a TV. My goodness. Oh, it's the most expensive TV. Let's go for the $400 TV. And a couch. There's a variety of couches. Well, we'll go for the $900 couch. Uh, and you can kind of get kit your house a bit. And I guess that's kind of neat. But I feel like... Really, does it... Do I want to take a nap? Not really. I want to watch TV. I feel like it doesn't really add that much to the game. Like, I kind of guess it means it feel, you feel like you're taking a bit more of a complete life. 15 there. But it still feels a bit tacked on. Oh, well, that put it up a bit more. Let go back on duty. Cool. Now we can take up the three missions, but we haven't been given the three yet. So, oh, I don't want to get my phone out. We're up to Senior Trainer, Master Trainer, Sergeant... I'd love to see what the extra ranks have to offer. I think that'd be quite cool. We could choose to go somewhere else, but I'm just going to stay downtown for the moment. The other, It's really empty, this world. It, it, compared to something like... It's hard to compare to this. Grand Theft Auto, especially 4 and 5, have done the brilliant thing of... All right. The brilliant thing of making your world feel alive with detail. Uh, and it's just always stuff happening. But I can show you as I drive towards town... There's just no reason to go off the beaten path other than trees. Like, this is probably going to damage my car a bit. But, oh, let's just fall into that ditch. And we'll just run into that wall. But there's just these big cliffs. I think I drove off once, one, and it, it just... <laughs> I'm just damaging my car. There's just there's nothing out here. Uh, this is a quarry or something. It looks like... And there'd probably be missions down there, but that'd be the only reason why you want to go down there. Oh, look at that acceleration! Causing me to fly off. Anyway. I need to make a roadblock. I've kind of done that one before. That's alright. Let's make it over here. Kind of need to get off the road a bit. Because when I tell cars to pull over, they sometimes pull over into my car. No! no that's right. Is this a no parking area? Because I could get all those cars MVP, in a row. See? Here. And that's issues we have with this game. Stuff like that just... Yeah. Don't really make too much sense. Can't... Murder. Someone's committed murder. ETA driving time. Another another warrant run, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Suddenly there's there's so much. Wait, it's on the is that that same area? All right, let, let's do another one. It's probably the other person. If it's someone committed murder, that we've reported someone that helped someone commit murder. I don't know if it's two accessories or if it's they're both accessories to each other. Let's get a warrant. Goodness me. Warrant will be ready in another minute. I'm so tired. The car's nearly out of fuel. Well. Uh, light speed car again. I'm going to presume they're still over here. Is that the person on the other side of the tree? Grab 
got my taser out. It's not you. Ask of suspicious activity. So nothing. How about you? If you start drawing a gun on me. Jeez, there's a lot of people out here. It's you. Police! Put your hands up! No, it's around the corner more. Why is this ready? You're not the person, I'm pretty sure. I think it's in the house. Wait! Oh, that's your name. Sorry. I can see you, bro. Running through the door. MVPD. Let's see what happens when I open it. And this, this bugged out person. Can I shoot you through the wall? No. I wonder if there's a back door I can go sneak in. Nope, just the front door. Wait. Got him. <laughs> I was like, I think he has his drone gone. His, his gun drawn. His drone gone? Hey, you. Wait, let's... Let's be serious for a moment. Frisk. Nothing. Bull Yakusha, we're gonna arrest you. And we're gonna call the bullies. That's us. But you kinda know what I meant. Perfect. Mission completed. We've got one less criminal on the streets. Loads of points. Well, I think we should go and... Oh, where's our car? All over there. We should go back. <laughs> this thing crashed into the tree. Just crab walk because it's a little bit quicker. Let's go back to the mission. We won't worry about the legally parked cars. I want to see uh, how much money we got paid for the end of that day. Good way of wrapping it up. Turn the engine on. Let's turn around. Instantly 30 k's an hour, which takes ages to break from. And instantly up to 145 k's an hour. And let's just power slide into the cop station. Instantly. When it's at a certain point, you can tell it to turn off the engine, and it just instantly er, stops it. Radio. End of shift. Watch the tallies of the day. Yeah, it's different medals there. Guns aimed to innocence, arrested innocence, shot innocence. Thankfully, there's none of those. Two doors broken illegally. All right. Found one illegal object, three criminals arrested, six vehicles checked, two vehicles towed, one vehicle ticketed, two evidences. Evidences collected? I don't know if that's the right word. $600. Current missions have been cancelled because it's the end of our shift. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video and Enforcer. It's a pretty neat game. There are loads of little issues with it, but I think there's no other game that really gives you the same experience as this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you later.